tell you what, gonna be some crabs this year, for sure. You heard it here first. Crab population was up like 50%, two, 230 something last year, 230, 330 something this year. The winter dredge, great survey, great people doing it. But when you get a winter like we just had, warm all winter long, and I talk to guys in Delaware who do dredge crabs for a living, they will tell you there was not a lot of crabs to be caught after December. When that water is warm, crabs spread out, they don't huddle up together, they're not easy to catch. We saw an uptick in the survey. What's really there is tremendously more than what was surveyed because of the fact that it was so warm over the winter. It's hard to dredge crabs when you have a warm winter. This is one of the warmest years on record, the warmest winters on record. We had very little rain, no snow. We had a dusting of snow. Tremendous amount of crabs this spring. First pots of the year. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> yes, sir. What on earth is going on? Best start ever that I can remember crabbing. It is going to be an awesome year. The adult crab population was up for the winter dredge survey. The juveniles were above level. Always going to be hard to sample them juveniles. You never know. A lot of these crabs buried in these rivers up the bay, places they don't get sampled. Tremendous amount of females coming into the fishery. Adult females are way up, like 50%. 70-some million last year, 150-some this year. Awesome for keeping the population going. It's great to see an increase from last year. Overall, we're up. Everything is up. Looking at an awesome, awesome year this year. Question you all want to know, are we going to have bushel limits or the, or the recreational? Crabbers gonna get their bushel back. Looking at the numbers that I have that, that came out, I don't see a lot of reason to have bushel limits. I don't know. I'll have to see what the science says, what the numbers are, the numbers they have compared to last year's harvest. I think we're on an uptick. The fact that it was so warm, I don't think the crabs were easy to catch last winter. I think there's more crabs than were sampled. We know what we sampled was probably on the lower end of what's really there. Also, the harvest this spring has been record setting. Tremendous amount of males, tremendous amount of females throughout the Bay, Virginia. Started all the way back in the middle of March. We're seeing most crabs I've ever seen in the spring. A lot of guys are saying exactly the same thing, especially further up the bay here. Double, double. Unbelievable catch. I think we're gonna see tremendous amount of crabs on the market, which is good for the consumer. The more crabs, you see some specials. Should be a nice big crab this year also. Should be a good year all the way around. Not a lot of crabs died over the winter. Definitely added to the amount of crabs we have had this spring. Beautiful crabs already. Salinity is gonna play a huge role. Salinity is way up. Crabs are definitely gonna follow that salinity line where they end up. Last few years, they've been further up the bay, further up the rivers, getting cut in more towards that fresher water. This year, I suspect we'll see plenty of crabs in the upper bay and way up the rivers like it has been the last few years. Seeing all sizes of crabs. I haven't seen many thumbnails yet, little tiny baby crabs, but we're seeing them crawling out the pots about that big, an uh, inch and a half or something. Looking like we got regulations coming. I don't know how you can increase the population and then need to add more regul. I, I'm not, I don't understand it all. I don't know. I, I got to get some more numbers here. Figure out where all these imaginary crabs fell out of the sky from, but. Looks like Virginia is actually going to raise their limits in the fall and next spring on account of the fact that there's more crabs we're just going to take away. So, I don't know. Maybe it'll all work out in the end. Can't imagine the recreational guys are going to get their bushel back either, which I think they should. I don't know. I don't know why they took it away in the first place. If they do the numbers, the recreational guys catch so little that it doesn't do any harm anyway, so why even take it away? Acquiring minds want to know. Looks like we're looking at bushel limits again this year, possibly during either August and September, with the status quo from last year, which is what we had last year, or we're looking at less bushels and a September and October closure. Have all 
also the possibility of an early closure in October, October 25th, and then a late opening next year in April 25th, I believe. Just stating the facts here. Hoping to do another video talking about how all this will impact us as crabbers and maybe some suggestions on helping out maybe the younger generation who is suffering dearly because of these regulations. I'm not a scientist, but I don't understand how all the numbers add up. That's that's the best I can best I can say. I got to do some more research, look into this a little more.